Yo, what's good, you two? Welcome back to Skylar Reacts. Today, we got the best Larry Bird versus LeBron James story ever told. Two of my goats in one, bro. Like, come on. You know I had to react to this. As usual, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the fam. Bro, we made it to 10K. Imagine that, bro. 10K in a year. Bro, I want to thank everyone for even clicking on this video. And yeah, let's get it. In the book titled, When the Game Was Ours, written by Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan shared his 100% honest opinion about Larry Bird. I wonder what he got he to said, say. People ask me all the time who my top five players are. Mm -hmm. And when I start saying Larry, they interrupt me. They say, you've got to be kidding me. He can't. They don't know. They just don't know. Start saying Larry, they interrupt me. They say, you've got to be kidding me. He can't play with LeBron James. I tell them, you guys don't get it. Larry is far better than any small forward who played the game. Now, the lazy person would chalk that statement up to Michael Jordan being a LeBron mm. hater. He's not even looking at the I think he was, was looking, he looking at Michael at, Jordan. I was thinking the same thing. Michael Jordan's a little left of that Charlotte mm. bench. I think that was a look at Michael like. I think you're right. I think that's exactly. Put some fear in Michael Hart. You see that? Bothered. Bothered. Someone please go check his blood pressure. Please, please. You know he up there in age. Someone please check his blood pressure. Right but not too long ago, this was common knowledge. If you give me both these guys and you say you can start your team with either Larry Bird or LeBron James, oh, you're taking LeBron. I'm taking Larry Bird no, and I'm not. taking my chances. No, Thank you very not. much. You know why? Larry yes. Bird was the baddest son of a gun on the planet and what in a league with Magic Johnson, mm -hmm. Isaiah Thomas, oh, so Dr. J. He was the best player in the world when the NBA and was LeBron's at a, when a the greater best level. In the world. It ain't the same NBA. This, 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 this sucker oh. won three straight MVPs. Let me ask you this. But I understand his point, but don't get it messed up. Larry Bird is not beating LeBron James in a 1v1. I'm telling you that. LeBron, listen, LeBron IQ is too high. Bro, you much crap, you much talk and LeBron have to deal with in a daily basis. Bro, Larry Bird cannot get into LeBron's head. I'm telling you, LeBron deal with that on a daily basis from fans, from other players that don't know better and whatnot. Bro, I'm telling you, LeBron is beating Larry Bird. With Le with Magic Larry Bird couldn't get through him at one point. Respectfully, the best player in the world right now. I believe he would. Oh, he'd be better than Kevin Durant. I believe he would. Yes, no, he would. I believe he no, would. No, he wouldn't. Okay, Larry he just Bird, have if, the he, if, he, if his back didn't give out on him, if he didn't have surgery, if his body didn't fail him, talking about we're having a whole different conversation about Larry Legend. I'm sorry. He, he had it all. About Michael Jordan. So, Larry Bird or LeBron James? And for the record, if you ask me who I'd take over 20 years, I'd take LeBron. Of course. But if you ask me who I'd take for one season, it gets very interesting. Because I'd take a 1986 Larry Bird season over any single season performance from any player that ever lived. And if you ask me who I'd take for one game, or better yet, one shot, well, I'll let someone who actually lived through the Bird era tell you what they think. All I know oh is... Oh my God. Oh my god, not skip. Oh my god, bro. I wonder what he has to say about Larry Bird just knowing that this is the the biggest Michael Jordan D rider in history of sports. Like no matter what, he will try to figure out a way to incorporate Michael Jordan in any sport topic or whatever, bro. It's so annoying. It's one game for my life. I want Larry Joe Bird taking my last shot. That guy from French Lick, Indiana. Game on the line, free throw, three, jump shot, whatever it was. Respectfully. I'll take Larry Bird any day or any night over especially LeBron James. Yeah, now, if you're still... Especially over... Le like, why you have to add that? Come on, Skip. Do better, bro. Do better. Do better. This is why your ratings is going down. Do better, bro. A Larry Legend denier. I'm about to tell you how mm. one shot changed the course of history, helped rewrite the narrative of an entire generation, and almost made Larry Bird the undisputed greatest of all time. Now, time and time again, Larry Bird came up clutch in the biggest situations. Max looking, looking, loops it to Bird, a runner. It's gone. Oh, it's net. And the Celtics win it. Bird hits and the Celtics win it. What but the net barely moved. And he aims to inbounds for the Celtics, trailing by oh my one. God, that's quality. Two seconds left. In the bird, he fires. He 
Yes! And the Celtics win! Unbelievable! Larry Bird at the buzzer! So in the 1987 NBA Finals versus the Lakers, when Larry Bird and the Boston Celtics were trying to repeat as NBA champions, Celtic Nation came to expect it. And in Game 4 at the Boston Garden, with the Celtics down 2-1 to one in the series, Magic. the game came down to the wire. Boston 4, LA 2. And mind you, this whole time, you know you can't hear the players, right? Mind you, this whole time, Larry Bird is talking crap. Just talking crap. Hey, I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to bop, bop, bop. This going to happen. I'm going to shoot in your face. Ain't nothing to do about it, bro. You should hear it. Go back to the reactions. My reactions about Larry Bird, I have a whole playlist. I'm telling you the stories these former players told about Larry Bird. Bro, my whole opinion, everything changed about Larry Bird. Boston. Five now, and they almost tied up Harris, and they lose it. Cooper. It's a three-on-three -three break. Cooper with a three. Mm. And hits it with a minute and a half. He had all to day, too. A long time ago. Kareem. Yeah, bench number well. Who was that number three? Yeah, bench him. Kareem does mm. it, and the Lakers jumping for joy, and they lead it 104 to 103. And another timeout called by Casey Jones. Yeah, bench him. And coming yeah. out of a timeout, <laughs> Larry Bird, as confident as ever, tells his defender James Worthy exactly what he's gonna do to him. I try to. T I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. He's ever, different. Tells his defender James Worthy exactly what he's gonna do to him. He would come out of a timeout. I remember this one time. You might have heard this before because he did it with a lot of people. I had to guard him. You know the play is coming, but he would tell you it's coming. Mm -hmm. With DJ handling, Mikael's gonna set up a pick for for Robert. That's only to free him up to come and set a pick for me. And he says, if you trail, I'm gonna trail into the lane to a little floater. He said, if you try to get over the top, he said, I'm going to pop to that corner and bust a jumper in your fucking face. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you. Man. I'm, I'm all up <laughs> on it. <laughs> you know, I got his shirt tail. I'm holding it. You know, I'm like, you. You, know I'm like, you know where I'm from. I'm from Gastonia. Man. He ain't talking. He ain't gonna... Sure enough, man, He the ball comes in. <laughs> DJ takes a couple of dribbles. I'm quick. I'm quick enough. I think I can get over the top. I, I, I get over the top. I get out there, but he pops to the corner and I'm running. He kind of waiting, you know. Waiting. Uh, <laughs> got him. He was an asshole. Bird goes for three. Mm. Got him. And the Lakers call time with 12 seconds left. Larry Bird with a big three point bomb has given the Celtics the lead. With the Celtics up by two. Kareem comes down and gets fouled with eight seconds left. He makes the first. Mm, light work. And misses the second. Oh, come on. And it's Lakers ball with seven seconds to go. One Celtic rebound could have sealed this game. But the ball goes out of bounds and the Lakers get the possession. And with seven seconds to go, the wow. Lakers still had life. Just three years earlier, in the 1984 Finals versus the Celtics, Magic Johnson choked in a similar situation, earning the nickname Tragic Johnson. But this time, he was ready. Wow, that's what I came from? Tragic Johnson. My man switched nah, that's crazy. to Kareem, and Kevin McHale jumped out to me. And as soon as I saw Kevin, I said, oh, I'm taking him. You know, Magic puts it on the floor, a couple head and shoulder fakes, and he raised up in the air. And there was nobody that was going to get that shot. Right mm. work. Down by one, with two seconds on the clock, Larry Bird and the Celtics find themselves in a situation they've been in many times before. Johnson on the inbound. Bird fires it. Freeze. What do you think happened? It went in. Now let's give this shot some context. And For in. two years straight, the Boston Celtics had the greatest home court advantage of all time. The prior year, in 1986, Damn. the Celtics finished with a regular season record of 40-1. and one. 
At this home? record still stands as the best regular season home record ever. Yes, better than Damn. Michael Jordan's 96 Bulls and better than Steph Curry's 2016 or 2017 Golden State Warriors. And if you include the playoffs, they were 50 and 1 at home. Undefeated. So for everyone who thinks the 96 Bulls and the 2017 Warriors are the two best teams of all time, at home, Larry Bird's 1986 Celtics were better. That's Let insane. that sink in. Someone asked me the other day, they said, it's the toughest arena you had to play in. And I said, uh, Garden, Boston. I said, they were almost impossible to go in there and beat because you could not make a mistake with them. Those guys made you play, and it was him. Like, he was like, a, he was a savant on the court. Like, just a savant. Yeah, like, two passes, plays ahead on yeah. everything. And so, please, let's not forget how hard it was to go into Boston and beat a team when Bird is in his prime. Unfortunately, the Celtics fell off that following year in 1987. They were 39-2 at home. So wow, quite a fell off, huh? <laughs> they lost one game extra. So including the playoffs, for the last two years, the Celtics were 99-4 and at the Boston Garden up until that shot by Bird. This means, statistically, there was a 96% chance that that potential game-winning shot by Bird was going in. Now, what do you think happened? Well, they set up a great play. I'm saying to go in, in bro. Bird I'm walked saying going worthy in. all the way up, forced the denial all the way up. We, we've done it before. Clear everybody out, go to the ball, and break to the corner. Max looking, looking. Loops it to Brun. Two seconds left. In the bird. He fires. He yes! And the Celtics win! Bird, a runner. It's good! That's a prize that counted the point one. The point zero one. Second. Bird fires it. He caught it here, and as he caught it, all he had to do was turn. And just turn, and he just let this thing go. Got a wide open look, couldn't believe it. And I'm standing right there, it is straight as an arrow. Mm, and the have almost. The and the Lakers dance off the court. They we're lucky because it was right on line. He looked at me like, how did you ever leave me that wide open? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. If he had took one extra step back completely behind the three point line, I, that was for sure going in. Down. That was so Change close. The whole series. Every time I watch that shot, I still think it's going in. Larry thought it was going in. Magic thought it was going in. Pat Riley thought it was going in. <laughs> Everyone was like, if Larry uh... Bird took that exact same shot in that exact same situation 10 times, he'd probably hit nine of them. And if Larry Bird hits that shot, then the series is tied 2-2. Two to two. And with the next game at the Boston Garden, there's no way you can convince me that this Celtic team, with the greatest home court advantage of all time, led by one of the most clutch players in NBA history, hmm. doesn't win that next home game. So instead of being down 3-2 to two, going back to L.A. and losing those NBA finals, the Celtics would have been up 3-2. to two. And with all of that momentum on the Celtics side, all they needed to do was win one game in L.A. to give Larry Bird his fourth title, add another finals MVP to his collection, become yeah. the first team to win back-to-back -back titles since Bill Russell with the Celtics in the 60s, and silence all doubt on who won the Bird versus Magic rivalry. One shot could have changed mm. everything. And the conversation it about like the greatest player in. of all time would have been very different. Larry Bird at his best, LeBron James at his best. Oh, I gotta go with Larry Joe. I gotta go with Larry Joe. You take Larry Joe. Larry Joe uh, <laughs> for the win. When Reggie Miller said that, it was headline news the next day because the media fawns over LeBron James more than ever. Yeah, because I... Mm, 
I don't know. I would love to see LeBron play back in that era, though. Like, when things are more physical. Because people think, like, oh, LeBron's a crybaby. He's too soft. Oh, those guys will run over him and this and that. Like, you have to remember, LeBron is mostly muscle. This man is 250 to 260, 100 pounds, all right? And he's, say, what, 6'9", 6'10", 6'9". That's not a small human being, bro. This man is muscular, bro. Like, you think you think Larry Bird going to push him around? You think, like, these other players? No, he's going to bully ball. Okay, it's more physical. But I would love to see it for myself, though. But to many Larry Legend truthers, it wasn't a surprise at all. Skip, Reggie would take Bird over LeBron. Do you concur, my friend? I do concur. In a hypothetical draft, would I take him over LeBron James to start my my franchise? Yes, I would. And, and I don't think it's even close. Now, you would think that Skip Bayless... Okay, not saying not even close is kind of crazy, Skip. The hate this man have for LeBron, I would never understand. As the ultimate contrarian would be challenged by his co-host for such an opinion. However, this is one of the rare things that they 100% agreed on. You know, in terms of leadership, in terms of clutch, in terms of shooting ability, and overall championship credentials, not just trophies, but a mentality... Larry Bird gets the nod over LeBron James. I I'm guessing that right now about 80% of our viewing audience does not agree with either one of us. Well, that, that, all that means is that they don't know anybody. They don't know. I would love to pick LeBron, but in terms of clutch, money time, there's no, there's no contest. He's not even in Larry Bird's class. Right. Not even close. It's not even close. I would love to see if the you numbers. Like stats, here's Larry Bird versus LeBron James season stats. While both are at the age of 30, Larry Bird averages more points, more rebounds, more assists, and has a higher field goal percentage. So when nice. someone asks you, what is Larry Bird better at than LeBron? You can say pretty much everything. Hold on, is he ahead of Larry Bird? No. No! no what was Bird Okay, Bird? okay, okay, Bird? okay, okay. At this point, at this point, just pure hatred. What do you mean he's not ahead of Larry Bird? So 20, 20, what, 20 years, 21 years in the NBA, and he's not ahead? He's not the number one scorer. He's not number four in assists. Like, he, like, bro, what? He's, LeBron is literally 40K, 10K, 11K. He's, his whole career is a triple-double, bro. Like, come on. Bird's a better shooter. It's not close. Uh, I think Bird is as, okay, as we, good we, we, or better as a passer. We, a much more fluid, much more uh, natural passer than LeBron James, a creative passer. LeBron James, see, like, for a superstar, he's as good a passer as anyone outside of maybe Magic and Bird. Bird was a better passer. Do Bird's know, a better rebounder. The fact is that Larry Bird didn't stay healthy, and the fact is that basketball is played so differently okay. now. When it comes down to the end of a game in a championship series, I would rather have Larry Bird have the basketball. Well, duh. Is there any way on earth you would take LeBron James over Larry Bird in the clutch? There's no way on earth that I'd pick him over Larry Bird in the clutch. I can tell you that much. Larry Bird was not just a superior shooter from anywhere on the court, just like you highlighted. Not only was he a near 90% shooter from the free throw line, which mm. LeBron could never brag about, but when you talk about money time, whether it's a particular juncture in the season where you're trying to position yourself for the playoffs, or you're talking about the last minutes of a game, or you're talking about the last shot in a game, or you're talking about a game seven, or you're talking about anything that, that indicates clutch, you simply can't pick. LeBron. I also have to remember too, like these interviews and whatnot is super old, so it's not like up to date, like all his accomplishments now. So I have to keep that in mind as well. I just like thought about that. Over Larry Bird, because you can pick almost no one in NBA history over Larry Bird. When it was money down. time, you knew where the ball was going, and you also knew there was little to nothing that you could do about it. It was just a matter of whether or not Larry Bird was going to make it or miss it. But even despite all of those numbers, to those who actually saw Larry Bird play, the eye test is all they need. I know no, there are other numbers like... that will support you on LeBron. I may lose this, but you know what? <laughs> I'm going with these, all four of them. And I watched that dude dominate an Love era that has Larry some of the greatest Bird. players of all time playing. I... And this isn't a diss on LeBron. Hmm. I'm not dissing LeBron. I love LeBron. We both love LeBron. Everybody appreciates how great he was. But as time passes, it's easy to was. forget how great Larry Bird was. No, I... So all of that said, right here, right now, Larry Bird remains 
the greatest small forward ever, period, end of story. Okay, Skip. But yeah, anyway, that's it for this reaction. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I want to know y'all opinion. Um, Also, like, comment, you know, your opinion. Subscribe, join the fam, bro. We made it to 10K, bro. Come on, join the fam. And yeah, see you guys for the next one.